When most people think of visiting Las Vegas, they think of the Strip or downtown, and that's pretty much it. But tucked away in the Southwest Valley is Red Rock Casino Resort. This place is a gem. You could just stay here, really, and not go anywhere. There's anything you could want to eat. Something for everyone, really. It's all good, too. The beds are super comfy. The views are dope. And yeah, just the vibe's better than the Strip in general. The pool is amazing. All the bored housewives from Summerlin chill there. Here's a look at one of the most basic king rooms. It ranges around about 300 bucks a night, but it was comp, so I'm not complaining. Alright, so, got the TV right here, where you lose all your money downstairs. Got this little sitting area. The beautiful mountains in the background and whatnot. Pretty sick. Little pool down here. Well, huge pool, actually. The bathroom's pretty nice here. Check it out. My girlfriend's in the shower. Oh, don't mind her. She takes forever to get ready. Here, if you got a pee, the bath where you get nice and clean, or just relax, you know, with no water, nice and deep, lots of room for you and all your inflatable friends. Got the little sit at the foot of the bed bench because you know. You got the chairs over here. You can sit on the left. Or you could even sit on the right. Just in case you have to wake up at a certain time but you don't own a smartphone, they have this antique. I think it's called an alarm clock. Okay, so I want to show you something. Kind of bullshit, really. They give you this wall. I don't know, sometimes they give you the VIP key card for the VIP elevator. Whatever the hell that means. So let's go check out these VIP snacks and this VIP lounge. So I stayed here for three nights and it was equally as lacking as what you see right now every time I came down here. There was like one or two apples, some weird dried fruits. So I'm just showing what I'm seeing, but come on, man, step it up, Red Rock. Put some pastries or something in here, you know? All lame snacks aside, there really is something to do for everyone here. It's a bowling alley, bingo center for the geriatrics. You can go to the movies and park your kids at the arcade where they can learn to gamble as children. Also, you don't have to eat fancy. There's a full food court here if you just want something quick or whatever. All in all, I love Red Rock as far as casino resorts go. I'd recommend staying here if you're coming to visit. Subscribe, motherfucker!